internet. It is Monday the 6th of August 2018, day two of my stay here at the Hideaway Island Resort in Vanuatu. Let's go and get breakfast. Now unfortunately this morning the clouds have come in and it's a little bit cloudy. It's still warm but it is a little bit rainy and cloudy. You can't always predict the weather, so you gotta just go with it. It's nice to be in the warmth, like this is great. T-shirt and shorts, and very soon I am getting in that water. i show you what's in that water as well. This is a pool here, which you can swim in, but I'm not going to because there's an ocean. The Mille Bay right there. That's where the fish are. There are no fish in here. Breakfast here for guests is a help yourself style, continental style, serving so you know me with cereal i'm gonna go some cereal ah, i dropped it you don't get a better spot to enjoy breakfast than right here now you can see me and you can see the breakfast spread behind me but if i turn this camera around excuse me if i turn this camera around and you see the view in front of me Isn't that a beautiful scene to enjoy your morning wake up? Just puts you in that right frame of mind to enjoy this space. Hideaway Island is obviously famous for snorkeling. This is the main beach right here. You see these two pontoons behind me? Right there, there's a 40 meter drop off and that's probably more suitable for diving. But this area directly in front is certainly well capable of all sn capable is suitable for all skill levels of snorkelers myself included and i have something i'm going to show you right now this guy right here is new from hello ye and it's their version 4 full face snorkel mask and it's the newest foldable design so the snorkel actually folds down onto the mask itself. A lot of these masks, the snorkel detaches and you possibly can lose it. Comes in a nice little carry bag, as you'd expect from a snorkel mask. Inside here is a Ziploc bag. You know me with Ziploc bags. I don't use them because I never reuse them. This Ziploc bag is broken anyway, so don't give me any hate for doing this, but I'm gonna tear this one apart. I know I cop a lot of flack for that. What's the point of a Ziploc bag if you're not gonna reuse it? That's my argument there. I'm not gonna reuse this. The critical difference here, that guy there, folds up. This looks like the GoPro mount. This is what they've done differently. And then you just simply push that together. That is actually a time-saving mechanism and it also means that you are not gonna possibly lose the snorkel. A lot of the other masks where you detach that snorkel, you risk losing it could leave it at the beach when you walk away then you can't snorkel ever to unattach it you just lift the little latch and pull it apart and then fold it back down and then it pops back in that bag it's back in the bag and then you're good to travel with that nice and flat nice and compact and no chance of losing it let's have a look at that GoPro mount so we'll put the snorkel back up connect it and this is your GoPro mount what a surprise it comes in a Ziploc bag get that open I can feel the bad comments coming. I can feel you guys. Why does this guy always rip open Ziploc bags? He never reuses them. There's a bit of plastic on here. We'll take that off. That plastic was harder to get off than the Ziploc bag. These GoPro mounts just snap on. I think that's upside down. I'm gonna put it on this way. Do you want the GoPro here? Of course, I did that wrong. So you might choose to do it up there. That will not work for you. Do it the right way, snap it on here. Now the biggest thing with these masks and getting them to work correctly is getting them to fit your fat head. I've got a massive noggin. You've seen how big this thing is. It's really wide on the sides. I need to make certain that I do these straps nice and tight. I don't want any flack from any locker. You remember locker on my other video giving me a hell of a lot of flack? I'm gonna put this on and I'm gonna tighten it and I'm gonna make certain this is a snug fit. So you pull this out. I'm gonna go further than I should. And now I'll take it off. All right, that is a pretty tight seal, I gotta say. Most critically, it needs to seal the bridge of your nose. You need to separate this area from this area. So if you don't feel a good seal there, chances are high you're gonna get some fogging issue. Also, 
You want to remove this bit of plastic. So that guy comes off. I think there's more, there's more plastic on here. The whole thing's a plastic slick sticker. This whole thing comes off, there you go. You want to be careful of that. There's two plastic sleeves there you need to remove. Now, before we do get into this beautiful water here at Hideaway Island in Vanuatu, I need to show you one other thing. More often than not, when you come down to the beach, to the ocean, you're going to have your handy, your cell phone, your mobile. People carry their phone everywhere, so you're probably going to bring it to the beach. Well, Hello Ye have considered that in their product. Every single one of their version 4 foldable full face masks ships with a waterproof phone pouch suitable for the iPhone 8, 8 Plus and any of those large size phones like I have here. These things are pretty straightforward. No Ziploc bag here so I'm allowed to rip this one. Am I allowed to rip this one? There's a lanyard hole. On a previous video, you've seen that I don't really use the lanyards. I don't have a need to hang this around my neck. You might want to hang it around your neck. In that case, you would slot the lanyard through there, hang it around your neck, that's fine. I'm not going to do that, but it can be done. Looks like it just slots open like this. Now you'd slide your handy in there. Handy goes in. You see these little, little latches there? They've got to go through that little hole. And then, that is now a sealed unit. Of course, there's only one real way to test that, and that is to submerge the phone. Now, I have to be careful. This is not a floating waterproof pouch. Don't be confused with that. And bye-bye phone. Now, nobody wants to lose their phone in the ocean. This thing will save you from water damage, but you will still lose the phone. Maybe that lanyard isn't such a bad idea. All right, back to the mask. Okay, first things with this mask. There was a little bit of fogging going on. Not too bad. My jaw is large around the jaw piece. Maybe it was just pulling up a little bit, a little bit of discomfort. Not too bad though. Hello Ye want to facilitate snorkelers of all levels, all skill sets, all ages. And that's why they make this in a kids all the way through to an adults. I have a kids version right here, which we shall open. Unfortunately, there are no kids. I was hoping to find a kid here that I could maybe give this to and that they could enjoy. Interestingly, the kids version does not appear to have the foldable snorkel. It has the detachable snorkel. So there's something to keep in mind. If you are purchasing the kids version, clearly this one is not a detachable. It looks like the same mask to me, but it's not the detachable snorkel. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking of picking up one of these Hello Ye 4.0 foldable full face snorkel masks, do me a solid. Hit the links in the description of this video. I do get a kickback from that. It's an affiliate link through Amazon. I get a small amount of coin. It would be helping me. If you're a giver on the channel, you're new here, you're watching for the first time, you are now a giver. You're watching my content. I give my time to create the content. You give your time to watch the content. That makes you a giver. If you want to give any more by helping me, hit those links, that'll be the way you can do that. Thank you as a new giver. You know me, I like to give these away when I'm finished with them. Hello Ye sent this to me to make the review. Now I've made the review. There's a gentleman here who's been watching and been involved. What's your name, sir? Tony. Tony, nice yeah. to meet you, Tony. Tony, I would like to give this to you just as a gift. You can take that back to New Zealand and, and get in the ocean with it whenever you wish. Okay, thank you very much. Hey Tony, cheers, man. Cheers. Exciting. I'm sitting here in my room reading this Discover Scuba Diving pamphlet because I'm about to go on my first ever scuba dive. I don't have any certification. I've never been scuba diving before. I've never even used a regulator. I've never, I've never done anything more than snorkeling. But here on Hideaway Island, the dive master has the accreditation to take you on the Discover Scuba Diving 
one day if you like course. During your Discover Scuba Diving experience, you'll visit a fascinating part of our world, the underwater realm, which I know a lot about from my snorkel mask reviews. This is not a scuba certification course. It allows you to dive only under the supervision of a paddy professional. Your experience may credit towards a certification course. Ask your paddy professional how. So this, what this is, is this is like an introduction, like a like, um, there's the ocean, we've got all the gear right there. Put your feet in a little and see how you feel. I feel like I'm gonna be okay. I feel, I feel comfort comfortable and confident. Knowing that there's a Paddy certified guy right there to help me, that's gonna go a long way to secure my peace of mind. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It is a pretty lousy day here. It's windy, it's a little bit on the colder side. There's varying clouds, I hope that the clears up and we get a lot of sunshine. It is what it is, Benin. You're in Vanuatu. Just enjoy it. Stop complaining. I'm not complaining. That's my first thing I've complained about a whole day today. Relax. Chill out. <laughs> Hugh's never scuba dived either, so Hugh and I are in the exact same position here. Did you read the manual very thoroughly? Yes, yeah, I, I, did as well. I certainly did. Your mask will push against your face as you get deeper. You equalize that just by breathing out through your nose. Your ears, you need to equalize uh, by opening up the the eustachian tube at the back of your throat, which communicates with the middle ear. The easiest way to do that is hold your nose and blow. You should feel your eardrums pop. You could be that. You can both do that. Richard, on my snorkel mask reviews, everyone has a different technique on how to make sure your mask does not fog up. What's your method for ensuring you have a fog-free mask? There is a, a film on the inside of the mask that's there as a part of the manufacturing process and that film has to be removed. It can be removed through chemical means, with various things that are available for commercial sale. A toothpaste, white toothpaste, that's right. the stuff with the mild abrasive in it, or you can burn it off. Yep. With a lighter. Um, yeah. You've seen the comments where people have been writing about how to do this. I've got so many different varieties of methods. It's good to hear from someone that also knows. Thank you, Richard. No worries. These are the requirements for diving. Obviously, you need oxygen. <laughs> You need a wetsuit. You need belt. Oh, you need air. Take two. These are the requirements for diving. You need air. And you need weights. And you need a wetsuit and goggles and fins. And you also need ocean. We've got that right behind us. Look at that thing you wear on your face is a mask. 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 All right. For all you guys that are going to comment and say how lousy I am at this, this is my first time. Go easy in the comments, please. <laughs> I had hair in my mask. Yeah. Well, that's end. That was awesome. Thank you so much for taking us out there, man. That was incredible. Cheers, brother. Really, really enjoyed it. It was. It is a new world down there. I'm on a high here right now. I, I want to get some footage off that GoPro. Yeah, the GoPro didn't really <laughs> like the depth. It's Twelve meters, right? Twelve meters. Twelve meters. That's as far as we could go. GoPro said no. Hey, Hugh, how did you go, man? Pretty, pretty good. It was pretty fun. You enjoyed that? I certainly did. It is like a whole other world down. Listen to me. I'm talking like I'm some scuba diving expert. I'm not. I've just been in for the first time ever. We went down the 12 meters, we saw some cool stuff. Mine was blown. Wow. 
That was extremely cool. I'm on a little bit of a buzz right now. It was so much fun down there. I mean, I'd like to do it again, obviously. Once you do something that's cool like that, you wanna do it again, right? You wanna, you wanna explore more. I felt like I had, I had this, I had this, right? We went down 12 meters. There was a nice coral rock formation that I accidentally went down a little further to, to see. When Richard saw me, he gave me the go up signal and I went up to him. Then I kind of pointed at it saying, can I go back down there? Cause it was really cool. And I just wanted to come around and see what I could see. And he basically said no, because that's the rule 12 meters. That's it. But it gave me that, it gave me that, um, excitement that I wanted to go around and see more. Yeah, I'm on a bit of a buzz, I'm gonna be honest. I'm on a bit of a buzz. There's not long until sunset here. It's a beautiful afternoon. I am still buzzing after that scuba dive. It's something new for me. I'm 42 years of age and that's the first time I've been scuba diving. You know, I've snorkeled a lot. You've seen my snorkel mask reviews. Well, now I'm the scuba guy. <laughs> I gotta thank the Hideaway Resort, Stan. I gotta thank Sherry, I gotta, I gotta thank Richard for the dive master showing us how this all works. That was so cool. Tonight on the menu, we are trying the tenderloin after a recommendation. Stan, you recommended this for me this evening? Highly recommend our, our tenderloin. Some places known as filet mignon, very tender. Well, you'll, you'll find out now. I'll find out. I'm in no more talking. You know, this isn't a food vlog. I'm gonna do the respectable thing and get away from the table so I can talk to you about the meal, which I've probably still got on my mouth. It was bloody beautiful. Another beautiful evening here in Hideaway Island. Stan last night told me of a spot along the beach here where there are hermit crabs in their mass. They're gathered in their masses and I want to find them. A hermit crab to you might not be very exciting and to me, I mean, I've seen crabs, you know, from Sydney. We, we see crabs in, in the harbor and whatnot, but these are hermit crabs. They're slightly different. That's one, that's a hermit crab, look. Hello, Hermie. He's gone back in his shell. Come on out, buddy. I don't think he's coming out. If we're sitting here quietly, which I'm not, and I've got a massive light on him, maybe he'll come out and say, I'm a hermit crab. This guy is a little bit shy, isn't he? He came out of his shell and then he came straight towards the camera and then he just stopped. Well, I don't know about hermit crabs in their masses. I mean, I saw two, one that came out and walked towards my camera. The other one that just did a little tweak. See that little thing sticking out of their head, like a little antenna. He came out, sort of waved a bit, then didn't do anything. Then I saw a regular crab just cruising around. He was dead still as well. I thought these guys were more active at night. Either they don't like my light or they're just mellowed at night. I'm not 100% certain. It's a beautiful evening here on Hideaway Island. The crab that I was really looking for was the coconut crab. And there's one right here climbing this tree. Let's go and check it out. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I know, I know, I know. I should keep a closer eye on the clock. I'm always running out of time on my own vlog. Hey look, if you enjoy what you're seeing here on this channel and you wanna support the content by becoming a financial giver, there's plenty of ways to do that in the description field of this video. And if you wanna become a giver on any other level, please hit the subscribe button here. Check out a random vlog there and my previous vlog there. If you wanna become a Patreon giver, you can do that right here. I'm early this time, aren't I? I'm early. I can't believe it, I've got time. There's time up my sleeve. <laughs>